A total solar eclipse is when the moon comes between the sun and the earth. The moon essentially blots out the rays of the sunlight coming onto earth. It's a bit like the Rolling Stones record, Paint It Black, where they have this line, I want to see the sun blotted out from the sky. So total eclipses of the sun are very rare. They happen once every 18 months somewhere on the planet. Exmouth will be the center of a total eclipse of the sun. What a great place to view something like this. Astrotourism is something that Western Australia is really famous for. And if you were to come to Ningaloo, you would be able to go diving on pristine coral reefs, swim with the whale sharks, and see a total eclipse of the sun. How cool is that? In Carnarvon, which is slightly south of Exmouth, there'll be 97% of the eclipse. And in Perth, 72%. If you're in Sydney, only 10%. So Exmouth is the ideal place to see a total eclipse of the sun. Dark sky tourism in Western Australia is spectacular. What's unique about Western Australia is that Perth is the most isolated capital city on a continent. In fact, 80% of Western Australians live in Perth, which makes up only less than 1% of our whole land mass. It means we've got 2.6 million square kilometres of beautiful, wide open, dark night skies, and it's spectacular for stargazing. Western Australia has so many dark sky experiences waiting for visitors from right around the world. It might be dining under the stars, or you might like to experience the night sky with the world's first astronomers. Aboriginal people have been studying the night sky for tens of thousands of years. Sitting around the campfire with one of the local elders will give you an experience like no other on Earth. When we look up in the sky at night time, we see a whole series of different Aboriginal Dreamtime stories, but also the creation. It helps guide us the way, and there are old spirits which look over us. My torchlight experiences, we touch on the different constellations and what they mean to Noongar people, and the stories are, are really capturing, and the audience, they love them in general. In the last 60 years, Western Australia has been intimately involved in some of the great manned space flights. In Carnarvon, they have a tracking station 60 years ago where they were involved in NASA's manned moon flights. In Western Australia's dark night sky, there are literally hundreds of billions of stars. A lot of people from brightly lit cities across the world rarely see one star in the night sky. The unpolluted night sky in Western Australia is an incredible asset that must be protected through education. This will allow us to foster a new and exciting sector within the tourism industry. As the Noongar people would say, Narajinda Kedalak, under the stars tonight.